Anyways, you there. Starstorm 2. It's a mod that's been in development for quite some time now. Everyone's been waiting for it, and it's finally here. I really don't know anything about this mod, honestly. We'll still check it out, you know? Why not? Let's see what there is. All right, so immediately, I'm already noticing quite a few new things. There is a whole new difficulty. Spawn limit has been doubled, and then difficulties faster too that's actually really scary let's try monsoon for now uh there are two new characters there's a nemesis commando that is a cool sword by the way and the executioner okay i like the looks of this guy i think i might try him oh he's got four skins this guy's got some really weird abilities i've never heard of anything like this i'm gonna assume executing just means it does oh Damage is doubled if no more than one enemy is hit. So it's good against a single target. Got it. Stop attacking and flee. All right. Oh, nice. I think we could try this out. See how this goes. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, Siphon Forest. I remember specifically hating this place so much because of, uh, what is it? The larva? I'm getting funny blue orbs. I think that's the recharging system that my M2 has to do with. Oh, that is crazy. So I gain more charges of this thing via kills. It can cool down itself. It just takes a long time. So I want to earn kills with this. Got it. If that's the case, we should probably try and hit enemies with our fear. Pretty sure that helps with cooldown. How does this work? Oh, it's cool. They just, they just run like little babies. Oh, funny green item. Harvester's Scythe, dude. This may just be a good run, boys. Oh, you know what? I have an idea. We're gonna fear this guy and then just... Oh, good night to this poor fella. Okay. I haven't seen any new items yet. I don't know if Starstorm has any new items. I think it does. Just considering how much hype it's had, it's probably got some items, not just two new characters, right? Who dat? I hate you. I can almost one-shot them, and that's kind of sad, because it's it's almost. Also, I am using a few more mods besides just uh, Starstorm. It's just quality of life, like item stats or UI. There's nothing else that I've added. I will put a list to all my mods that I'm currently using in the description, though. Just in case you guys want to see it. What the heck? Even the Stone Titan runs in fear? That is crazy. We're fine. We're fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, we're fine. Give me that ban. Let's get out of here. We got bans, dude. That's huge. Considering that a lot of my attacks do some serious damage. I do like this shift ability in terms of mobility as well. It's not really supposed to be for mobility, I think, but it still, like, kind of gets where you need to go. That right click is brutal. I love it. I gotta remember, though, to, like, save it for those tougher guys. Dude, enemies fall so quickly to this guy. He is... He's packing some heat. Where's the teleporter? I, I would like to get out of here. Maybe I should get items first. I kind of forgot, like, getting items is a thing that you do in this game. What is that? Is that a crowbar? Boys, I have a plan. I have a big, big, big plan. jono has got plans. We're going to save that because I want to keep it. And then we're going to run over to this. Monster tooth? That's great, dude. Anyways... Perfect. We kept the really good items. That's clean. And now we have three crowbars. So now Basic enemies. Yeah, they're gone. We don't have to worry about the little guys anymore. The only thing we should be worried about are big bot. The sun starts blazing. Huh? What's that? Is it just a bunch of enemies? Am I just getting swarmed? There's something happening on my screen. It's not I don't think this is supposed to look the way it does. The sizzling heat dissipates. Oh, wait. Did I have to be in the sun to get hurt? Also, a fork. Increase your base damage by 2%. That's amazing. Anyways, you there. Wow. Okay. Mm. All right. Exec executioner. Really putting... Really, really... Really living up to his name, I see. That's, uh, that's something. All right, we're here at Rally Point Delta. Little known fact for you guys, this is actually my favorite stage in the game, like, aesthetically. The only thing I don't like is that they brought the, the blind enemies and all that. Get out of here and go to the... <laughs>it's whatever. It's a small price to pay, you know? We one-shot most small enemies anyways, thanks to, like, four crowbars, so it's not that big a deal.
Not sure why imps have to be so tanky that they are like the exception, but whatever. You know, I'm kind of excited to see, does this mod have any like void items? Does it bring anything crazy? Tenobubble, by the way. Let's test our luck. So far, so good. That guy is obliterated. All right, cool, two for two, that easy. Bungus, that's huge. Let me sit here for a sec. Bungus is good. I have like really no healing other than my harvester scythe, but I don't even have the lens makers anymore. That's kind of bad. There's a yellow printer right here uh, with the cores. Cores could be good if I start going drones, but I don't even know if we're getting a yellow item here. So I don't want to bet on that. Is that a chest? That is a chest. I can't open that chest. That thing is fat. That thing is fat. They are dead. Oh, they are so dead. Bandolier? Um, not too hyped about a bandolier. I, I don't... I don't know why you would be too hyped about bandolier. Unless you have some specific build to it. Has anyone ever made a specific build for bandolier? Anyone in the comments, like, let me know. I don't think I've ever done that. Also, a glacial wind blows in. What is a glacial wind? Should I seek cover? Is that the... Is that the point? Or is it just... Is it just cold enemies? Is that what we're doing here? I think it's just cold enemies, so... Nothing too special. I need to heal, though. That was really scary. Those larvae came at the absolute worst time. The sharp, frigid air settles down. So I think, if I if I am analyzing this correctly, these special events just make certain elemental enemies spawn frequently for a period of time. Hopefully I'm correct on that. All attacks strike an additional time, lowered attack speed, and increased skill cooldowns. That is kind of good skill cooldowns is kind of whack but i do have that passive where you know scoring kills gains back some charges as long as they're feared well, not like charges but it does lower cooldowns if i get plenty of attack speed i could just get like a light flux maybe all right i think with this many items we are more than set to fight this guy i could use the axe but i also kind of want to just use uh this this honestly might just be enough it was almost not quite what I was hoping for, but that's okay. It still did plenty of damage. Yeah, we're good. What do we get? Will of the Wisp. That's huge. Will of the Wisp is some clean AoE damage. That is exactly what we want. All right, let's move on. I'm really hoping we get something like Siren's Call. Siren's Call is a really good fourth stage. As long as it's not that stupid mushroom map. Oh, dude, asking you shall receive. My attack speed's gone down tremendously. What? Why is this such a sudden downgrade? I haven't done anything between this stage and the, and the previous one. What happened? An overloaded shockwave materializes. I'm going to assume that's overloaded enemies. And that's not okay. There's so much scary stuff happening right now. I really can't comprehend it. I don't like it. This is... Oh, this is just terrifying, dude. Oh, death be upon me! I hear jellyfish spawning. That's really scaring me. We're gonna have to chill here for a sec to get my health back. All right, I think we can do this too. How did they not die is the real important question. I also don't think I need a lost Sears. My damage is through the roof. I think we'll be fine without that. All right, distant worrying. Worrying should grow loud once I hit this. If I hit this, there we go. What about this? Would this work? I'm gonna pray this kills. That did not kill. We lost the crowbar. Okay, that's good. I got a legendary too. We gotta find out what it is. See if it was worth the trouble. What is that? Benko. God damn it. Rest in peace, Benko. You will be missed. All right, hold on a sec. We have plenty of money. We haven't really even spent it. I'm gonna buy this. What is that? Detritive Trematode? Enemies with less than 40% health receive damage over time. Something like that. That deals 100% base damage and slows. So when they get low on health, they receive debuffs. Got it. Very simple stuff. Very simple. Holy loot. If we're lucky, we'll just get a really simple fella like, you know, Wandering Vagrant. Someone that I can easily and clean, like get a clean one shot from my special. That's what we're really hoping for. And I'm also hoping Fireworks doesn't mess this up. It's a magma worm. And I think Fireworks did mess it up. We're going to just go for it. Yeah, that's good enough. It's enough. That is good. Molten Perforator. A storm's approaching. Is this a Devil May Cry reference? I don't- I'm- I'm completely unsure of what this storm does. He's dead, thank god. Hold on. Is it just increased spawn rate? Is it just like generally higher 
stakes, bigger threats. This is risky, considering how low on health I am now at for a crumb of damage for that needle tick. Collector, carry 25 unique items in a single run. Thanks, G. Oh, big fat chest, big fat chest, boys. What do we get? Rose buckler. Guillotines. Guillotines are actually good, though. I love guillotines because elemental enemies or elite enemies rather they they get tanky especially in co-op guillotine's a goaded item in co-op i wish i did have a little bit more movement speed relying on my dash for mobility is not really ideal i want to save that for the fear but like i, I i'm not fast <laughs> a storm's approaching again what does the storm even do i'm still not entirely sure what it does i think it's just increased spawns you know like generally increased difficulty oh here's the tp well, let's hit it let's get out of here what, what is that Oh, that's weird. Ow! Okay, fine. We'll kill this guy normally. Because we can. No, stop. I hate that. <laughs> we'll just kill him. We have so much damage. That's Ow! ukulele. This doesn't look right. Isn't there normally, like, fog in this room? I feel like this room normally looks a lot foggier and dead. So we've now made it to commencement. We're on the home stretch. I clearly lack the mobility to just, you know, cheese my way up like I like to do. So I'm just gonna have to charge the pillars. I do want to see... Uh, wow, by the way, this is why we get power elixirs, boys. Dude, the difficulty is spiking so fast. We went from mopping the floor with the enemies to getting mopped upon. You know, I'm going to be real with you guys. I missed the old commencement. Uh, I don't know if you guys hardly re even remember that. It was a really simple concept. You just took one straight linear path to the boss. Uh, there was no pillar charging. There were some enemies along the way, if I remember correctly. But that was it. There wasn't any sort of, you know, BS pillar charging stuff going on. Because I'll be real with you. On the old commencement, the fight to the boss... It felt right, you know? My main problem with commencement is really just the fact that you take a really long time down here, not fighting the boss. You spend a lot of time creating a way to get to the boss. And it's really time consuming, just really long, really difficult, s spooky shit. Personally, I sometimes think Mythrix might even be easier than the actual fight it takes to get to him. Hopefully this doesn't end too terribly. But if it does, I won't be too surprised. And of course, a storm approaches as I enter this arena. I missed. Okay, that was pretty expected. We'll just kill this phase normally. Oh, yeah, we can do that. We'll be fine. This fight is taking quite a bit. A lot of my damage has been supported by my crowbars. I just realized I lost quite a bit of crowbars, though. That is really disappointing. But nonetheless, I'm still going to try and go for that beginning, like, axe uh attack on him because that just does some serious damage combined with crowbar he's dead he's almost dead just gotta keep you know slapping them about a little bit see this this one enemy scares me so much because his attack shreds through my hp so quickly all right get that in immediately that's good that's good damage dear diary reach level 20 oh nice cool we got a new item i might play more than one run in the future make more make maybe like one or two more videos about this mod if you guys want just to see what these new items are or like you know what things do oh he slammed right through the bottle wow okay i was really thinking that would save me oh well if you guys want to see me do more of this just let me know in the comments and i will see about recording more uh